real time stock screener is a fun project designed to help intraday traders it can help them to create new trading strategies using javascript the application contains an inbuilt editor with the debugging capabilities to create screener with ease market watch contains a watch list on the left hand side and a chart on the right hand side you will be able to add multiple stocks into the watch list and see the real quotes of the stocks you will also be able to pan and zoom into the charts there is also a spark line in the watch list which helps you get the gist of how the stock is performing we will create a very simple screener for finding the stocks that are making intraday lows by comparing it with the last traded value with the current day slow first thing we want to do is add metadata information to the screener here run every tick indicates the screener will be executed for every trade in every script then we will have to import the data that is required for writing the screener we need the last close of the stock which is the last trader price on the last low of the stock that is the current day slow now we can write the actual screener by using the condition last close should be less than or equal to last low now we can save the screener using control s and validate the screener using control enter there is a editor console in the bottom which shows the logs on the validation results of the screener as you can see there is an error saying scre screener name is not defined we can look into the documentation of the screener to see how the how a name should be defined and the same syntax can be applied to define a screener name here we can define a screener name like saying saying making new low now the validation is successful and we are given with a sample data we might require two test cases one with success scenario and one with failure scenario let's start with the failure scenario close greater should output false and for the success scenario we will clone the same test case and we will change the value for the last close the last close should be equal to the last low for the success scenario so it should be 1348.15 and we will change the label to close equals we can execute all the defined test cases using the execute all button and we got the results so the first one is successful the test passed saying if it is the closest greater it is resulting in false with the without test score but the second test case failed because it says the expected result should be true but we have it as false so we might need to change the expected results to true and then execute it now it is successful we can check the code section to th see the execution path of those tester in this case it is just single line so it doesn't matter we can go and publish the screener for now okay now the screener is published we can subscribe th to the screener using the subscribe screener section and okay now we can click on subscribe to subscribe to the newly created screener okay the screener is subscribed and we can see our screener in action in active screener tab these are the list of screeners that are making new lows currently so there are huge number of stocks that are making new low if you want to filter out some of these stocks based on some condition we can edit the screener to include the filter so we will filter stocks for top 100 turnover stocks by adding filter turnover min rank 0 and max rank 100 and by publishing and viewing this list we will be able to see the top 100 turnover stocks okay now let's subscribe multiple screeners one with making intraday highs and one making intraday lows as you can see there is multiple screeners the one with the all greens is making intraday highs you can see it from the spark line and now this one with all red is making intraday lows you can see it from the spark line it's going down
To see how the debugging works, let's assume we want to find a pattern like this, where every bar's high is greater than the previous bar's high, and every bar's low is greater than the previous bar's low, and this should happen at least for five bars. We call it as consistent high. I have created a new screen for this one with run type as run every tick, name as consistent high. I have also added a new condition called percentage change. It should also be greater than one along with that condition. So I have imported the required number of uh, data for us, the five bars with high and low and prefixed with minute. Prefixed with minute indicates that the variable should be prefixed with minute. So we, we can use that as minute underscore. So the logic here is uh, we will get the first and second of the array and then we will verify if the first is less than second otherwise we will return false I have multiple test cases for this one the first one verifies if the stock is less than 1% it should output false here it is less than 1% and when I execute it and see the code execution path I can see that the uh, first two lines getting executed and return false and the rest of the red shades indicates those code were not executed the next condition verifies for the consistent high as you can see from the input data, every bar's high is greater than the previous bar's high and every bar's low is greater than the previous bar's low. When I execute this test case and verify for the code execution path, I can see that the return value equal to false, the falsy condition never executed even once and the return value defined in the top at the line number 9 was returned at the line number 25 resulting in the screener or result as true.